so uh, as you can see, the Z01, she's looking a lot better. It's kind of last moment. Thank you again so much, Seth. For yeah, for sure. Me. I really do appreciate it. Had a she made her look really good. With all that being said, though, y'all go check him out. I mean, he's got a badass setup going. He's got plenty, plenty of material. He's got a badass ST that he got. Uh, he used to have a uh, EcoBoost Mustang, and if you go check out his, if you go check out his Instagram, you'll you'll see that. But with all that being said, um, yeah, he started up his detailing business, and if you want, go give him a shout and check him out and let him know that Texas Street Society sent you. And y'all go check him out for sure. He does damn good work. I mean, you saw how dirty it was before, and then now how, how clean it is now. It's almost showroom condition. The only thing left to do would be ceramic coat, which he does offer, by the way. So if you're interested in doing ceramic coating for your car, uh, come check him out and, you know, just if you're in the area, just let him know. Y'all go follow him. His link will be right here. And, uh, We'll go from there, but I guess other than that, we're gonna go to the dyno now and uh, see what she puts down. We'll do it before, before while she's stock, and then, uh, and then once once we get our performance upgrades, we'll come back to the dyno. Alrighty, so uh, we made it here to test performance in Lubbock. Like I said, we're gonna put the car in the dyno and we're gonna see what it makes, see what stock numbers it puts out, and then before we put all the modifications on there, and we'll go from there. If you wanna if you wanna dyno your car, uh, they'll give you three pulls for hundred bucks. So far, talking to them on the phone, they've been good people, they treated me good. I guess we're gonna see how they are here today in person. So we're gonna walk around to the back side of the shop and he, you know, we're gonna <clears throat> see what we can do and see if we can get something set up. So ready? Mm -hmm. So he disconnected the battery on this thing. LS3. Yeah. Who's car? So this is a car that we're building for a client. Oh my god. That is uh he's got some damn money in there, right? Yeah, he's got some money in there. Uh, Holy just came back from the uh, interior shop. Uh, Who do you have to? Oh, TMI. Yeah, it's TMI. Stuff. Oh, 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 oh. oh, this badass. He's got the iPad as the oh, yeah gosh. interface. And it's a clean ass car. Yeah, we're finishing up suspension work on it. We just got the drive shaft back. Okay, so y'all do more thing. than just motor work. So I mean, we're an all-around fabrication and and. Um, chassis shop we focus mostly on drivetrain uh -huh. and suspension and then other places are more focused on you know the appearance and interior stuff. Yeah, oh yeah. so um, it's kind of the same way you wouldn't have a paint and body guy do your motor work but you wouldn't have us try and paint a yeah, car yeah so oh, yeah for sure um, we kind of have a really good relationship with everybody in the community of, you know who's good at what oh yeah we're good at the uh, mechanical side of things so. For y'all that don't know, this is Nicholas, and he's, he's, uh, I want to say you're, are you a sales, or what uh, are you? So I'm our uh, marketing media director. Okay. He's in the, he's in the marketing and media. If you don't mind, tell me what's, what's the story on this motorless CTSV over here? Um, this is a motor we're building for a client here. I'll close this real fast. It's just an upgrade. Uh, pulled yeah, it out. Hand package, hey. Um, well, the motor's across the street at the machine shop, and oh, we're okay. uh, beefing up the internals. And is he going there. billet or is he going? Or was it what's he doing? You know, I'd have to pull up because this is one that uh, my uh, other associate Casey is working closely on. Oh, I'm okay. pretty sure it's uh, I know it's full forge built bottom end internals. We're doing an ATI damper with a smaller um, percentage pulley, um, and then I think it's like a 2.4 on an 8 percent. Oh, shit. so he's so, sticking with supercharged though, yeah, but he's staying supercharged, and you know, it's not. Uh, a super aggressive build, but it's still going to be pretty quick. Um, our most aggressive build right now um, that just left the shop because we, we have multiple thousand horsepower cars that are yeah, here. Yeah. The most recent one that you missed by like a couple of days was uh, we have an SN95 Mustang, but it's got a uh, single turbo 5.3 liter uh, Silverado motor in it. And that's uh, being controlled completely live by an AEM Infinity system. So the car above us is uh, going to be a twin turbo Camaro that we're fabricating. Oh, and shit. that is going to more than likely be powered by Holly. Not um, too bad. We do Holly, uh, we do AEM, we do Link, Motec, uh, most all of the standalones. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of what we got going on with that. That's badass. I mean, what do you, uh, and what's the story on this, this Roadrunner here? Um, well, it's just a original 1969 Hemi Roadrunner. Uh -huh. um, 
it's not the original motor and it's a little beefier but uh it's got a, a, a built hemi in it and it's just a four speed car and um we just mopars beat over time yeah. uh so we just try to doing a refresh on it um so it's been <laughs> refreshed uh but still like it needs new uh valve cover gasket so we're just replacing the valve cover gasket oh, okay. and, uh, we just put a new clutch and uh a transmission in it so the transmission it blew up, so we finished all that, and now we're just kind of buttoning up little leaks and things that the customer had uh, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, wanted us to address. Behind us is our line of Corvettes, uh, and each one of these is getting some kind of build to it. Um, are these yours or is these custom? These are customer cars. Um, so this one is like heads can, it's a Z06, heads can, it's a 2011, it's got 16,000 miles on it. Um, it's a really nice car, uh, MSD <coughs> Atomic, uh, you know, full long tubes, they've been uh, coated. Um, right now we're just trying to finish up wiring the fuel system on what it. Do you, what do you think this LS7 is going to be pushing? Uh, on this setup, I don't like to throw out numbers based on every car kind of just ends up doing its own thing. They're yeah, all, oh yeah. This car is just being a uh, built motor, so we're kind of... A, Almost a one-stop shop. We have a good relationship with the machine shop across the street. Oh. They uh, build the motors. We do all the performance upgrades, um, the tuning and stuff the tuning, like that. Yeah, things like that. Uh, this has got a Magnuson that's sitting in the showroom right now, waiting for it. And once the motor gets back, we're gonna put the blower on it, and then yeah, this is a little more conservative, like weekend car. He doesn't yeah, race oh, yeah. it like crazy, so um, he'll probably keep it in the 600s. Not I too think. bad, yeah, something yeah. kind of mild. Yeah, Not the too car bad. behind you, however, uh -oh. uh, in See, it's got a drag, it's got a, it's got a parachute. We set a world record with this car. Oh, no uh, shit. In 2015, there weren't a lot of uh, options for uh, making a lot of power on these. I mean, they make power, it's yeah, an yeah. LT1, but back then, uh, you <clears> still had to <throat> deal with a lot of uh, the early parameters of running a stock injector on mm -hmm. an LT1. Basically pushing it as far as Pushing it, it as far as it could go. And back then, the only option really was to do a direct port setup. So oh, this shit. thing has all the nitrous, all the turbo, all of the everything. It got so hot under here during the, the mile pools that they ended up having to rig a little air dampener to keep the uh, alternator cool. Yeah, oh yeah. And um, this car, I want to say it did 237, 238 mile per hour and was the first to do it, but um, that was back in 2015. Obviously, there's C7s that have gone faster yeah, now, oh yeah. Oh yeah. but this was definitely the first to do it then. And the guy who owns this car also owns the world's fastest Viper um, that in the quarter mile. So he owns this car and he owns that other car. Alrighty, so uh, just an update going on. We finally got the car strapped down to the dyno. This is a Mustang dyno, by the way. And with that being said, it's going to read lower than the typical S, I believe it's a SAE, or what, what is that other dyno? It'll read lower than what a dyno jet's okay. going to read. Yeah, a dyno jet, there you go. That's what I was looking for. It's going to read more accurate. That's yeah, oh way. yeah. Well, it's true power. Yeah. So with that being said, um, it's a badass dyno, expensive dyno, I know that for a fact. He, uh, he's got a badass shop. He's got a good little setup here. Um, got some nice cars in here, dude. Like, I gotta, I gotta admit, it's not too bad. But uh, with that being said, if y'all are ever in the area, come check him out. Uh, you wanna shout out the address real quick? Yeah, it's uh, 5840 49th Street. It's uh, technically building 200. We're a standalone building. We're the biggest building on the block uh, here in Lubbock, Texas. 
If you don't know where we're at, if you need an address, give us a shout. Look us up on Google, YouTube, um, Facebook, whatever. So they've been super, super nice to me over the phone, even though I've called about a hundred times asking stupid questions. But you know, I mean, like I said, with that being said, I mean they've been super, super nice. They've you know worked, they got me in with they're pretty, they're pretty busy right now, stacked up, and they agreed to get me in on the dyno just to get some baseline numbers before I start upgrading this. So we'll go from there. And so if y'all ever in the area, y'all check them out. If you got a car around the Lubbock area, West Texas area, you know y'all feel free to stop by and check them out, and you know give them a holler and. Yeah, you know, swing on by, we'll give you a tour, we'll show you the shop, show you what we're all about. So. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, uh, with that being said, I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Man. work, man. Thank you. I can make it say whatever I want it to, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm talking about, where you can go to different shops and they can have different numbers based on how their dyno's got set up. Yeah. Yeah. Plus elevation, all of these things take into account. So dynos, I mean, it's they're, they're, game, made, they're made as a tuning tool. Yeah, right? yeah. It's made for you to put the core on the dyno, do some tuning. Be able to see the changes and the comparison back to back to know what you're doing is helping, right? Yeah, yeah. But in all reality, the number is all horseshit, okay? Now, I can tell you that 
we spent a lot of time trying to calibrate our dyno to be as close to what we considered accurate, accurate. as possible. So, and how we did that is we took several stock vehicles and ran them back to back to back and dialed it in to get the number that we thought they were actually making. Yeah, oh yeah.